Look at my grandkids with their mommy and you. Look at that. My grandkids are a riot. We went up to Wisconsin. And They're 10 and 8. I will pull up on my motorcycle, and they're so excited. They just start laughing and say, Nana, you are so crazy. I can outwalk them, okay? I can outswim them. <laughs> so, so they're just like, we can't keep up with you. How's your arms feel? Feels pretty good. In November, I actually went in for a mammogram. A little difficult, but I'm getting there. You worry a little bit until you get that letter. Not done yet, Chair. The result came out as normal. And then I got a call from the imaging center. Jennifer was looking at my records. She decided to call me back and say, you know, you have dense breasts and sometimes mammogram will not pick up anything with a dense breast. The automated breast ultrasound is an additional test that we offer women as a supplement to their mammogram to help us see through that denser breast tissues. Full breast ultrasound on you today. It's a really good second look to catch something early. It did show something that they looked further into and turned out to be cancer. My maternal grandmother dying of breast cancer at age 42, I decided that the double mastectomy was the best option for me. I asked one of the nurses, okay, what do I need to do? Where do I go and who do I call? The Rush nurses said, you don't do anything. We're going to do everything for you. It meant so much to me. How was your surgery? Just being able to talk to Jennifer. It was hard, but it was good. And let her explain to me what was going to happen. I really do appreciate uh, the way that the Imaging Center reaches out to women and is very proactive. That is so critical in life. Um, I can't imagine what it would be like a year from now and what condition I'd be in. Uh, I'm happy, I'm cancer free. And if it weren't for you, I just don't know what it would be like. Once you're able to focus in on the person and their individuality and their individual risk factors, you're able to tailor care to their needs and their risk factors. A lot of people don't like to go downtown Chicago. So I think it's critical that you have an environment in your community where you can go and feel comfortable that someone's gonna take care of you when you have a problem. The better we are at advancing the ways we do screening, the better we're able to find something early in people to make sure they live long, healthy lives. They've got the technology and the means to be able to really see what's going on with the patient. Going through the A bus, that really did change my life. I can go out and do things now. I'm cancer free. Now I can get on with my life and not think about if this would have been a year from now, how bad it might have been. It would have slowed me down in life and I don't like anything slowing me down in life.